The Nigerian Air Force was established in April 1964 by an Act of Parliament to achieve a full complement of the defense structure of Nigeria. We are the first to be recruited, 10 of us, and sent to Ethiopia to train as the first cadets of the Nigerian Air Force, nuclear of the Nigerian Air Force. We went to Ethiopia in 1962. From there, only four of us graduated, completed our primary training in Bishop II. Later proceeded to Asmara in Ethiopia and did our basic training, which we completed in 1964 and then returned home, where we were received by the then Minister of Defense and his colleagues in 1964. That's how, that's how the Air Force started. Since then, it has evolved into a formidable and highly respected professional Air Force under the leadership of 21 foreign and indigenous service chiefs. As the Nigerian Air Force turns 57, it is imperative to take a cursory look at its past, present, and the future projection, as well as acknowledging the sterling contributions of personnel and indeed Nigerians who have supported and continue to support her efforts in the defense of the territorial integrity of our dear nation and making it a safer, secure, and a more prosperous nation. The Nigerian Air Force has had its fair share of challenges in its 57 years of existence. Why at its infancy as a fighting force, it assumed the role of a well-established air force in order to prosecute the Nigerian Civil War in close collaboration with sister services in spite of its operational deficiencies. It later grew into a formidable force and asserted itself in several internal and external security operations, such as religious crisis of Mr. Sinis sect in Kano. Others include the ECOMOG operations in Liberia and Sierra Leone, militancy in the South-South, the Boko Haram insurgency and armed banditry and kidnapping in the northeast, northwest, and north central, as well as pipeline vandalism in the southwest, not forgetting the timely intervention mission in the Gambia. Now at 57, the Nigerian Air Force is today a force to be reckoned with in the projection of air power beyond the shores of Nigeria in furtherance of national and regional security imperatives as a critical component of the armed forces of Nigeria. Indeed, the enormous contributions of the service to nation building and national security cannot be overemphasized even in the face of daunting challenges. There's no doubt that the Nigerian Air Force has come of age. It was an Air Force that either too depended on foreign assistance to execute the Nigerian Civil War, as well as a lift troops for foreign operations to a service that can today boast of preble aircraft of different types. Surely, we have every right to celebrate Nigerian Air Force at 57. Under the leadership of Air Marshal Isiaka Oladayo Amao as the 21st Chief of the Air Staff, the Nigerian Air Force has witnessed a renewed vigor and determination aimed at positioning her as the harbinger for peace and security in Nigeria and the West African sub-region. In the spirit of continuum, which is the tradition in the Air, Nigerian Air Force, I have continued to build on the gains and achievements recorded by my predecessor. Hence, my vision for the Nigerian Air Force is to enhance and sustain critical air power capabilities required for joint force employment in the pursuit of national security imperatives. Air Marshal Amao's doggedness to reposition the Nigerian Air Force into a formidable fighting force on the African continent is therefore not in doubt. His vision is anchored on five key drivers, namely doctrinal development and application of air power in joint military operations, pursuance of purposeful training and human capacity development, 
sustenance of platforms and equipment serviceability through innovative maintenance methods and logistics support systems. Others are fostering a disciplined workforce essential for combat readiness and bolstering morale by improving personnel welfare. The Nigerian Air Force operational structure is reviewed at stipulated periods or as operational needs becomes. At the assumption of office by the 21st Chief of the Air Staff, Air Marshal Oladayo Amao, the force structure was restructured. Let me state here that the present and the future state of Nigerian Air Force are of strategic importance to our national as well as regional security. The contribution of the Nigerian Air Force to Operation Lafayette, which has degraded the activities of Boko Haram element in the northeast of the country, lay credence to this assertion. Bearing in mind that the future can only be built on the solid foundation of the present, the Nigerian Force under my watch has been able to adopt measures and policies towards enhancing our Air Force air warfare potential. This we believe will minimize duplication of efforts, enhance effective command and control, as well as cut cost. So based on these factors, we came up with the current force structure of 11 staff branches, six field commands, and 90 units across the country. Additionally, an office of the Ombudsman has been created to provide an independent and impartial scrutiny of the handling of uh, the services complaints made by the Nigerian Air Force personnel, including gender-related issues. The Air Warfare Center is also being reactivated and tasked with the development and review of employment concepts and doctrine, among others. One of the focal points of this administration is portions of purposeful training and human capacity development. To this end, in order to summon current and emerging security challenges, much emphasis is laid on capacity building to enhance professionalism of personnel. Whatever we do in terms of inducting new systems and platform, not much will be achieved if we neglect the men and women who operate them. In that regard, the focus is on acquisition of skills, the testing of those skills, the practicing of those skills, and a constant review to ensure that the Nigerian Air Force is up to date with the current challenges it is called upon to face and to ensure that it is a step ahead of the enemy at any given time. This is coupled with the need to increase the manpower holding to enable the service better fulfill its responsibility in line with emerging national security challenges. The Nigerian Air Force in the last few years has trained thousands of officers and airmen and airwomen in different categories of air and ground functions, as well as development of facilities to further enhance training and operational effectiveness of Nigerian Air Force personnel. If you train in peacetime, you will sweat less and avoid unnecessary casualties when operations arise. So for us, purposeful training as uh, one of the key drivers of the chief is something we need to prepare and fund. And so when we are defending the budgets, we ensure that these two aspects are well catered for. And when the funds are released, we make sure we use the funds judiciously to attain such outcomes. Precisely July, portal will be open for direct short service so that eligible men and women will be recruited as officers into the Nigerian Air Force. All this is done to, you know, cover up all the places where men or personnel are lacking. The Federal Government of Nigeria, under the leadership of President Muhammadu Buhari GCFR, is not relenting on its efforts at securing the nation. It is gratifying to note that the current administration of the President Muhammadu Buhari has acquired new and modern platforms, such as the Super Michal uh, Trainer aircraft, the MI-35M, 
and the Augusta 109 helicopter as well as the MI-171E in order to effectively and efficiently orchestrate current and future air operations of the Air Force. Well, most of the recent major acquisitions made by the Nigerian Air Force that are currently being superintended by the current leadership of uh, the service includes the procurement of the JF-17 Thunder and the A-29 Super Tucano aircraft. Well, others include the, the CH-3 and CH-4 UAVs as well as the Wing Long 2 UAV, which are due to be inducted this year, will definitely impact positively in the current uh, effort at combating security challenges across the nation. The Nigerian Air Force has taken delivery of the JF-17 Thunder multi-role fighter jet, and preparation are ongoing to receive the 12 Super Tucano aircraft in Kainji. One of the key drivers of the Chief of the Air Star's vision is bolstering morale by improving personnel welfare. The current administration of Air Marshal Olada Yuamao is mindful of the welfare of personnel for effective and efficient service delivery. We have in the last two months completed various infrastructural projects across the country to create a conducive atmosphere necessary for productivity. These projects include but not limited to remodeling of the radiology department at uh, 063 Nigerian Air Force Hospital, Abuja. Then we also had uh, some constructions at uh, Operation and Engineering Wing at Gombe. Then renovations of uh, senior NCO quarters at Kanji and construction of uh, accommodation in Makodi and Portacot. Uh, currently, the logistic branch is building over 47 units of these houses, and they are also renovating about uh, 11 blocks of uh, the existing quarters to make them habitable. Similarly, we carried out constructions of classrooms and accommodation in Kaduna and Ikeja. Furthermore, there are about 53 projects which are currently ongoing across the Nigerian Air Force bases, most of which are already 75% completed. These structures will help boost the morale of our personnel and in turn, heighten our operational output. Also, the Chief of the Air Staff recently approved funds for the acquisition of various vehicles which will be used as staff cars, general utilities uh, vehicles, troop carriers, as well as fire tenders and patrol vehicles, among others. Also, uniforms, accoutrements, medical equipment and laboratory equipment for our schools, as well as furnishing of the newly constructed uh, uh, barrack accommodation have been catered for by the chief in a bid to improve the well-being of the personnel. Nigerian Air Force schools, no doubt, have been recording remarkable academic achievements. Only recently, Master Ediani Izuchuku of Air Force Comprehensive School, Agbani, in Enugu State, came first in the Presidential National Science Competitive Examination Award out of 35 states, including the Federal Capital Territory. The operational readiness of a fighting force is hinged on many factors. The Nigerian Air Force currently holds aircraft of different types. Most of these aircraft are currently serviceable, while others are undergoing various reactivation and upgrade programs. Impressive as our platform commission may sound, it falls far short of our optimum requirements. Accordingly, I have convened a committee of officers to assess our current combat efficiency. In the same vein, the Air Force has been able to recognize one of the newly inducted MI-171 helicopters in Kaduna recently. Um, these trends um, uh, will be sustained as they not only afford huge foreign exchange savings, it also enhances the maintenance capability of our personnel. One of the key elements of every operation is to understand the terrain 
and with the GDAC, we're able to produce our own maps and be able to understand the terrain of every of our operation. Uh, it's still work in progress, but uh, it is a very good, good addition to the operations, to the delivery of a power and energy on the The focus of the current administration is on joint military operations. The chief of the air staff, Air Marshal Mao, strongly believes in jointness as reflected in his vision to achieve the desired success in combating insurgency and other security challenges confronting the country. It is a known fact that no single service has what it takes to provide all the requisite capabilities required to address any particular challenge. And that is why you have each of the services specializing in particular areas of the battle space. The Army on the land, the Air Force in the air, the Navy in the maritime domain. And so with the special skills that each of the services have, when you bring such skills together, you become much more effective in handling whatever situation. The new plans is for the defense headquarters to run the operation that involves more than one service and is coordinated at the HQ level. We run a joint intelligence uh, fusion cell. We planned the operations together. The chief of defense staff should pretend over the operation. The services take the abortion to make the work with the big plan as planned by the THQ. The Nigerian Air Force has been involved in major internal security operations led by the Defense Headquarters with positive outcomes. The operations include Operation Lafayette Dole, now Operation Harding K in the Northeast, Operation Hadarin Daji in the Northwest, Operation Delta Save in the South South, Operation White Stroke in the North Central, and Operation Safe Heaven in Plateau and Kaduna State, respectively. In all these operations, the Nigerian Air Force has proved the effectiveness and indispensability of air power in asymmetric operations. To sustain platforms and equipment serviceability, the Nigerian Air Force has intensified efforts to explore more innovative approaches through effective partnership with ministries, departments and agencies, as well as tertiary institutions to ensure adequate availability of spares. The third key driver of the Chief Star Vision focuses on the sustenance of platforms and equipment through innovative maintenance methods. As such, the branch tailors its research efforts toward affordable indigenous designs by looking inwards to identify local sources that can meet these designs. Also, the Chief of Air Staff encourages memorandum of understanding in partnership with indigenous firms in the joint production of fast-moving spares and other needed hardware. The Air Force Research and Development Center and Air Force Institute of Technology in particular have been in the forefront of training and building capacity of Nigerian Air Force personnel in research and development for the Nigerian Air Force to be self-reliant. We are very aware that uh, modern technology uh, is very much as we enter deeply into the aviation industry. Especially most of the platforms that Nigerian Air Force is acquiring, they are highly sophisticated, highly computerized, they are avionics heavy. So that we have taken note of. So we are ensuring also that many of our engineers and technicians that we train, computer, computer science forms a major aspect of the training curriculum. We are focusing on uh, taking each platform, especially the ones in the Nigerian Air Force inventory, taking them as particular training reference so that uh, any person that finish from Air Force of Technology should be very familiar with some of the avionic systems that are employed on the aircraft. This, no doubt, has translated into attendant positive effects 
on aircraft serviceability and operational effectiveness. In the last few years, the Nigerian Air Force through the medical branch as well as the Directorate of Civil Military Relations have stepped up humanitarian efforts aimed at winning the hearts and minds of locals in conflict areas. The Nigerian Air Force has been involved in so many medical services to local communities and our host communities. And uh, this is in form of providing structured based medical care services and medical outreaches. And uh, this has been there for long. And then the new chief of health staff has uh, given us a go ahead to continue with them. And then of course, uh, a bright idea that even brought now is the idea of telemedicine. Telemedicine means that from anywhere within the country, even outside the country, you can, you can speak to your doctor. You can receive care. The Nigerian Air Force today could boast a fully equipped reference hospital in Port Harcourt, Bauchi, and Daura in Katsina State. Furthermore, in addition to the Cancer Screening Center in Abuja, the Nigerian Air Force now has cancer screening centers in Meduguri, Makodi, Kaduna, and Bauchi. With the fluid and dynamic nature of today's warfare, the need to develop special forces to cope with the threat, protect Nigerian Air Force bases and air assets, as well as other critical installations, was very critical. The Nigerian Air Force Special Forces under the regiment's specialty was therefore established. Your level of professionalism. The Nigerian Air Force Special Operations Forces are now contributing maximally to ongoing efforts to bring peace to the troubled parts of the country. This is in addition to bridging the gap between force projection and force protection. The Nigerian Air Force is a highly gender sensitive service. Since its establishment in April 1964, the Nigerian Air Force has consistently enlisted female personnel as officers and other ranks, which in the early years of the service mostly served in the medical and administration specialties. However, in line with global best practices, the Nigerian Air Force has over the past two decades increasingly encouraged female personnel to move into more core areas of the service, including combat and combat support roles. Consequently, the Nigerian Air Force now has significant number of female personnel in the regiment, engineering, armament, air traffic services, as well as operations specialties, amongst others. The Nigerian Air Force now has some special forces trained personnel and has winged seven female pilots who have been flying combat mission and adding value in various theaters of operation, including the Northeast, Northwest, and North Central. The Nigerian Air Force honors its fallen heroes who have paid the supreme price in the defense of our dear nation with monuments by naming facilities and structures in their honor. These monuments are located across the Nigerian Air Force bases and formations in the country. The Nigerian Air Force believes that the labor and selfless services of the gallant heroes should not be in vain. Clearly, the focus of the Nigerian Air Force under the leadership of Air Marshal Isiaka Oladayo Abao is to employ air power capabilities effectively and efficiently to meet current and emerging security challenges. These projections would not have been possible without the adequate support of the Federal Government of Nigeria and Nigerian Air Force officers, airmen, airwomen, and civilian staff. As we celebrate another year, let me once again thank the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, President Mamadou Buhari, GCFR, for his unwavering support to the Nigerian Air Force. Let me also place on record and appreciate the support that his services has been receiving from the National Assembly, the Ministry of Defense, 
the Ministry of Finance and the Central Bank of Nigeria, as well as the Chief of Defense Staff and the other service chiefs. While congratulating the officers, airmen and airwomen, as well as civilian staff and our families, as we collectively celebrate our 57th anniversary, I must thank them for their commitment and service to the nation. As the Nigerian Air Force celebrates its 57 years of existence, there is no doubt that it has become a professional and disciplined force that is willing, able, and ready. Happy 57 strikes of greatness. Nigerian Air Force, willing, able, ready.